Gents, today I'm going to be taking on a challenge. The challenge of addressing one of the biggest areas of confusion in menswear. In this video, I'm going to be talking about jeans. Specifically, skinny jeans. Because it seems to be the case that when some men hear the phrase skinny jeans, they immediately think of these. Trousers so tight that you look like you've just gone and grabbed your wife's pair. Crazy uncomfortable, no ballroom, who the hell would want to wear those? But the reality is, in a lot of cases, you may be mistaken. Because actually, are all skinny jeans just like this? We're going to find out in today's video. I'll be running through three of the main types of jeans that you see on the shelves. I'll not only be discussing the differences between them, but also who I think should be wearing each of these types of jeans, and then also my personal favourite. Let's get straight in there with a pair of jeans that has the stereotypical image of a skinny jean. Now this pair of jeans seems to be the general type that men think of when someone mentions skinny jeans, or at least men who are slightly older than myself. You can see that these are incredibly tight from the waist all the way down to the ankle. They almost look like they've been painted on. And in fact, you wouldn't be far off because these are what's classed as a spray-on jean, or as some other stores may call them, the super or extra skinny. They follow all the contours of the leg and you can see that they end up going in at the knee. In all honesty, you could easily mistake these for a pair of female jeggings. When you've got trousers this tight, they have to be extra stretchy to actually enable you to move. And you'll find that that's the case in 99% of these spray-on jeans. The extra stretch means that they are surprisingly comfortable. They're very lightweight, they never need ironing if that's something you worry about. I'm not personally a fan, unless you've got incredibly stick-thin legs, of the spray-on jeans. I think they look a bit feminine and you can do a lot better if that's something you want to avoid. Unfortunately, loads of guys out there, especially online, seem to think that all skinny jeans are this. They seem to think that this spray-on type of jean is the only skinny jean that's out there and that everyone should avoid them. So now I'm going to show you what an actual pair of average sort of skinny jeans looks like. And although the super skinny spray-on type of jeans tend to be rather similar across loads of different brands, I find there to be much more of a variety when it comes to those labelled as skinny. Before now, I've seen jeans labelled as skinny fitting me wider than several of these slim fit options on the market. The ones I'm wearing here are from Topman. This is their stretch skinny fit, which I find is about in the middle, about average when it comes to skinny jeans. And when you put them side by side next to the spray on jeans, you can see quite a difference. The skinny jeans are relatively tight still around the thigh and around the calf somewhat too, but have a look around the knee. And for me, this is the biggest difference between the two because you can see on the picture of the spray-ons, they go in at the knee like a woman's pair. Whereas with the skinnies, there is some folding around there. It's just slightly wider overall. The regular skinny jeans don't have quite the same elasticity to them. You can see they are slightly baggier at several other areas too. Especially around the ankle where there is some folding there, whereas on the spray-on jeans, they remain incredibly tight right down to the foot. So I would probably respond to those people who say no one should ever wear skinny jeans, they look ridiculous, by having a look at this picture and saying, you know, if it was the spray-on jeans that you can see here, I agree with you. I don't think they really would look good on almost anyone. Whereas with the skinnies, on the other hand, I think in certain circumstances with certain body shapes, this can still look fine. These skinny jeans were made for skinny people. I mean, it's in the name. If you're a guy with chunky legs, you're always going to look dreadful in a pair of skinny jeans. And I know that from significant personal experience that my legs, which are very, very slim, look about the same in a pair of skinnies as a regular guy's legs look in a pair of slim cut jeans. So I think really you've got to assess your own physique and decide which ones are going to look best on you. Uh, try them out. Let's go on to the loosest fitting trousers that I'm including in today's video, the slim fit. Now it's difficult for me because I don't technically own anything that qualifies as a slim fit. I've got a couple that are between skinny and slim, which I'll be talking about in a moment. But this pair of H&M jeans are probably about as close as I've got. And for a guy with normal sized legs, especially around the calf area and the knee, I think that these will look fine. From the knee down, this is typically how a slim fit trouser fits me. You'll have to forgive me a little bit because these on the thigh are tighter than a normal slim cut is. But if you can imagine them being a little bit more baggy, that's typically what a slim fit looks like on me. And immediately, you can see the certain issues we've got here. Down at the ankle, you can see that because it doesn't taper off quite the same, and because generally these slim cut trousers 
tend to fall a little bit lower down on the foot, it's all started to bunch up. It's also quite wide around the knee area and the calf area, hence why you can see the material folding forwards at the knee. And from a distance, when you're wearing these with a nice, well-fitting top, especially if you're a skinnier guy like myself, then your legs can end up looking a bit out of proportion and a bit baggy in comparison to your upper body. So now I want to introduce you to what my favorite cut of jeans is at the moment. At least for guys who've got quite skinny legs like me, maybe you don't wanna go as tight as the skinny jeans, cause I know for some people, they don't see that as an option, but you don't wanna look sloppy in a pair of overly big slim cuts. This particular pair falls exactly halfway between the two. This is the stretch slim fit from Top Man. And I really like these because they still taper nicely at the ankle, but they don't have quite as many folds around the knee as the skinny jeans. And they're an absolute world away from the spray-ons. And you can move in these, you, you can walk, do all the same activities that you'd be able to do in a slim pair of jeans, but if you're a guy with thinner legs, they look better. They've still got that little bit of stretch to them, not as much as the spray-ons, but it helps to keep it in at the knee and around the calf area. When it comes to putting outfits together, a lot of it is about proportion. And for me, the majority of the time, I find that these look more in proportion with my upper body than the slim cut do. It gives me a much more slick overall appearance. You can see more of my shoes, which I also like as well. Hopefully you found this short video useful. Um, I wanna know really, from you guys at home, which is your personal favorite out of these four fits of jeans? I'm gonna leave an eye in the corner of the screen, choose one from the drop down menu, I wanna see which one wins. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you let me know by pressing the like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to see weekly men's style content just like this and press that notifications button too so that you don't miss a single upload. And I'll see you guys on the next video.